This is a glasses for blind men which can totally change their way of living. So in this first we have used a ultrasonic distance sensor. In this there are two holes from where shock waves goes when it is 50 centimeter less. This makes the lives of many blind people more easier than they what they are now. So now we will give a demonstration on our project. I have made a project based on flood management system. This is the bottle which simulates the river. This is the buzzer which produces the alarm. This is the 9 volt battery and through this battery we can connect the wires. The red wire is connected to the positive terminal and the black wire is connected to the negative terminal and this is the rocker switch. Uh, I have prepared a project and I did this by thinking. So I thought that I was walking, I walk a lot, so I, why don't I think that my phone also runs out of battery. So I thought that why don't I make a shoe that can charge uh, your phone. So this project I have done that. I have used piezo electric chargers, piezo electric sensors and if we put pressure on it then um, it will generate electricity and then elect this electricity is transferred into this uh, battery this battery becomes charged if you only walk then it will become charged you cannot pre-charge it and from this battery you can take your USB uh, cord or yeah, your charging cord and put it and charge it in your phone this is a solar powered car the solar panel is made from waste it works as a solar panel but uh, takes more than the average time to be charged and uh, now over to Kostov, he will show you the chart. Now here is the chart, time frame. Our innovation, the Eco Car. The Eco Car not only uses solar power but also introduces cost effective and uh, eco friendly technology for transportation. Ron? We will now show a demonstration of our project. The wheels are rotating. And our steering mechanism. So today our topic of our project is combination of radar and distance measurement. So what is radar? Radar stands for radio detecting and distance measurement. Defense and security weather forecasting are some applications of radar. The important components are used the alternate sensor uh, which measures the distance using uh, sound waves and this is the servo motor which rotates the sensor and uh, it, uh, this moves continuously 120 degree uh, from each side like this I keep my hand here it will show the red lines in something is dead unwanted detector. Now I am going to show a demo and working uh, model. So this is a 30 centimeter scale. I kept the scale here and you can see. Uh, here the, the display is showing 30 cm. Our project here is on solar world. Uh, this uh, this is a battery module which is run by solar panel and um, it, this solar panel runs both this module and this module. This solar panel powers this Arduino over here. This solar panel powers this Arduino which powers these two LDRs. These LDRs go in the direction of the sun such as to increase maximum absorption of light energy. And this solar panel also powers this contraption which is known as a solar cooker which tracks the solar trajectory. See, there are two LDR sensors here which track the direction of the sun. They move in the direction of the sun. They work in the same principle. They work in the same principle. As you can see, it is not moving very much now. That is because the sun is currently at a position where the uh, thing is not able to move at a very, um, what do you say, at a very... As right now it is the afternoon time, it is currently getting the maximum amount of solar energy and it is at its best peak position. This position it is currently in is the best position to cook the food. Hence it is right now stuck in this position. The usage of this is that it is, com it, it is completely green. Each and every part over here is powered by solar energy. Hence, this has zero carbon emission and the food also will get cooked by this with solar energy and this also produces 25% more energy than a normal solar panel.
Thank you. We have made this project keeping in mind the security of our country's military personnel. The use of this project is in when when from other army the military is attacked from using jet planes in night we can't see the plane clearly we see a dim light which helps them track the path. Now when we run this over here the servo and the ultrasonic sensor detects the things coming in forward. If nothing is in forward then it shows green but if I put my hand over here it shows red over here. We made this app because we want to help people who need help. We see a lot of people around us who need help but they have, they have no help. Thus, to raise the awareness, we have made this app, Impactlink, which will help others and they can help themselves. The project seeks to mitigate the uh, uh, numerous train accidents that happen in India and all over the world every day. Like recently, we had an accident in the Cor Coromandel Express where there were a lot of casualties. To, to prepare for this kind of disaster and to prevent it, we have created a train which can detect obstacles. In this project, you can control the keyboard by just moving your hand, head. It is, it is especially important for uh, handicapped or paralyzed people. This, in, w when you run this application, the project continu continuously locates your nose. When the nose crosses the right threshold, the selection on the virtual keyboard shifts to the right, similar with the left threshold. The thresholds are denoted by green lines drawn on the webcam feed. Today we have made a mod robotic head which we have named as Nova. So this robot can answer our some of our questions and it can move, uh, move and detect its our face. It will move according to our direction of our face. This robot is helpful for blind people or the people who cannot type. They can interact with this robot uh, with their voice. You can use these questions. It is saying listening, then you can speak. How are you? How can you help us? How can you help us? It's answering me. That's very nice. And our model name is Rain Drop Detector. So when the rain falls on on this uh, on the raindrops module, it will detect the uh, rod hanging uh, clothes hanging on the rod will detect um, the rain will detect it and the uh, clothes will. Yeah, to uh, will go under the shield of the house. And uh, so for this project, we have made a firefighting robot which extinguishes forest fires. So for uh, so you as we know, thirty percent of the. Um, total air pollution in the world is contributed by forest fires and in this edition of the science fest we decided to make the earth and a, a cleaner and a greener place by making a robot that focuses on the environment so uh, let us demonstrate the robot we have made this project so that all underprivileged people and people who are going on treks or hikes on mountains and do not get access to easy drinking water so that they can get a continuous source of fresh water if we run this First, we'll First, we shall measure the pH value of extremely impure water as you can see. And the pH value has come as 5 which is acidic. Over here it is said as acidic. Now what we shall do, we shall connect these two wires which engages a pump and the water has come into this filter. This filter contains a mixture of filter paper and cornstarch which helps filter the water absolutely and perfectly. Now, wait before. Now if you measure the pH of this clear water, the pH shall come as a 7 as the water is green and 7 is neutral which is drinkable. 
and what we have we have installed two TDS sensors in both and as you can see in the TDS sensor 1 which is the impure water the raw value is 152 anything above 100 is absolutely non-drinkable and when we look at the other TDS sensor which is in the clear water we can see that the TDS is 19 ppm 19 is an extremely good score and is absolutely drinkable this project is related to robotics and uh, this is a, a smart blind stick. This stick helps the blind people walk or getting to a location properly without, uh, without uh, bumping into an obstacle.